Today I'm going to compare the GoPro chest mount version number two to a cheap chest mount that I bought from AliExpress like two years ago for $5. Let's see which one of those is more stable. So first of all, I want to do a quick comparison of build quality between these two chest mounts. Let's start with the GoPro chest version number two. The straps feel very high quality. GoPro logo in here. Stitching is also top notch. Everything feels very high quality. We have some nice cushioning in here for more comfort. And the mount itself is also very high quality made. This will cost you, I think, $35 or $40. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. Now, this is my old strap that I bought for, I think, around $5 on AliExpress like two years ago. And as you can see, it's very cheaply made compared to the GoPro chest mount. So the stitching is not as nice as on the GoPro chest -y. And everything just feels a little bit more cheap. But I've been using it for the last two years and it's been totally fine. I just wanted to see if this one is gonna give more stable results than this, and also if it's gonna be more comfortable than the cheap one. And the way you close this strap is very simple, just like so. So it's a little bit different compared to the GoPro chesty one. So the build quality definitely feels nicer in here, and I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit more comfortable than this mount. Now let me mount both of these uh, chest mounts on my body and share with you which one feels nicer. And also we're gonna do like a stability test between these two. Okay guys, so first of all, let's start with the GoPro Chest T V2. I have the GoPro Hero 9 mounted on the GoPro Chest T. And let me put this thing on me. It's a little bit different then my cheap mount. Okay. All right, so this is how it looks on my body now. Let me do a quick spin. It feels kind of tight on me. So I'm gonna loosen these straps in here just to make it a little bit more comfortable. But I must say it is recommended to have these straps as tight as possible so the GoPro won't move around like this when you're jumping on your bicycle, skiing, running or whatever. So I'm gonna make it a little bit tight but not too tight as it was before. So now let me do a couple of jumps and see how much the GoPro moves up and down. It's not really moving that much. Feels very secure, to be honest. Very, very secure. Let's try the same thing, but in slow motion. Maybe you'll be able to see how much it moves more. Okay, so that was the GoPro Chesty version number two. And obviously later on in the video, I'm gonna test out how stable this strap is with the GoPro itself, how it looks with the GoPro footage. But I just wanted to give you a quick look how stable it is on my body. Now I must say this chest mount feels extremely comfortable. It's also very easy to adjust the tension of the straps and it feels extremely stable. Now let's move on to my cheap, a strap mount, chest mount from AliExpress and see how that compares to this one. 
Okay, so this is my cheap uh, chest mount from AliExpress and first thing that I noticed between this one and the GoPro one is that the GoPro one was a little bit higher. I think the GoPro one was here, somewhere like that, and this one now is a little bit lower. So I'm gonna try to adjust that, but I think the straps here are not as strong as on the GoPro one because this chest mount is pretty old, like I said. And I think I'm already maximum here on the straps, as you can see. I hope you can see at least. So I can't really move it higher if I want to. So I have to keep it somewhere around here. Now I can make some adjustment here on the sides also, but it's also pretty much the maximum because the straps here are not as high quality as on the GoPro. And also, this is pretty old, like I said, I have it for around two years, but yeah. So definitely this feels a little bit more loose than the GoPro one. The GoPro one was more tight, more secure, felt more secure, but it feels just as comfortable. Maybe because it's not tight enough. Let's do a couple of quick jumps. So I definitely feel that this one moves a little bit more. When I jump, this thing moves up and down, up and down, up and down like that. Let's do a slow motion test. All right, so that was the cheap chest mount from AliExpress and this one definitely feels not as stable as the one from GoPro. But let's go outside and do a running test, a bike test and see which one looks better with GoPro footage. Okay, so first of all, let's start with a simple walking test. Right now I'm using the GoPro Chesty V2 chest mount. And I am filming with the GoPro Hero 9 Black in 4K, highest stabilization setting possible. Just walking around. I think it's gonna be really stable while walking. Now let's do a slow running test. So I'm just jogging slowly. And now let's do a sprint. Three, two, one. Okay, now let me mount the cheap chest mount from AliExpress and see how it compares to this one. Okay, so now I have the cheap chest mount from AliExpress mounted on me with the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Same settings, same everything. And now this is a walking test. I do feel like I said, that this mount puts the GoPro a little bit lower. I hope you can see it. And now let's do a slow running test. Let me know down below if you see any difference compared to the chesty mount from GoPro. Now let's do a sprint. Three, two, one. I 
I definitely feel like the cheap chest mount from AliExpress is moving a lot more than the original one from GoPro. It just slides up and down and up and down and up and down, while the GoPro one stays much more stable on my body. Okay, now I am going to jump on my bicycle and we're gonna ride the gravel around here as fast as possible and see which one again is more stable. Let's start with the original GoPro Chesty. Okay guys, I am now on my bicycle and I have the GoPro Chesty version number two mounted on me with the GoPro here in black. Same settings as before, everything is the same. Let's start riding fast and see how stable it is. Oh. Opa! Oh. Ooh. That was nice. This mount definitely feels really stable. Let me now switch to the cheap chest mount from AliExpress. Okay, so now I have the cheap chest mount from AliExpress mounted on me with the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Same settings as before. And by the way, if you're interested in cycling content, I'm going to leave my a link to my cycling channel up here or down in the description. If you want, go and subscribe. So let's start riding fast in three, two, one, go. Shredding the gravel. Oh. All right, I think this is it for today, guys. Ah, I'm getting exhausted. So let me know down below which one looks more stable to you, the GoPro Chesty version number two or the cheap chest mount from AliExpress. Let me know your opinions down below. I think this is it for today, guys. I guess I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching and peace out.